respected chairman sir and my dear friends hanging cast for humerus fracture is really a wonderful way to treat mid diaphyseal and distal third humerus fracture though the textbook recommendations are there for conservative treatment of humerus fracture but this is one advice which we commonly do not practice many fractures of humerus especially middle third and distal third can easily be managed by conservative hanging cast what is the relevance it is all these bad cases you go on seeing a number of them in opd disasters after fixation fixation failures infections even after good fixation of humerus a non union and problems with operative treatment and also the nerve palsies so if you look into this humerus fractures can easily be managed by conservative care let us consider simple conservative measures sling and a swath is a comfortable way the swath supports uh, the uh, arm to the chest these are the types of shoulder supports shoulder immobilizers gilchrist bandage chest arm support even patients splint them well so learn this art of splinting the humerus splint the injured well by desol bandage velpi bandage whatever way a simplest way to apply gilchrist bandage you can have a tourniquet stockinette roll cut it and then apply it before applying the hanging cast a collar and cuff pay attention to the angle so if the angle is just above it gives a distraction force if it is not then it doesn't give distraction force a arm sling avoids over distraction initial treatment is plaster application what needs to be corrected is the varus so the reduction is simple gravitational the alignment is natural see the effect of valgus strap you have to just take care of the varus which happens in conservative treatment so apply a valgus strap at the elbow so this is a technique of u slab application measure the slab make a slit at the end pass a bandage loop you may use a fiber bandage but it may hurt because of the rough or sharp edges so you can apply double u slabs single u slab and then extend for a distraction so you can combine all of this technique now see what happens the there is a varus which is happening so you have to press for a valgus and this is the most important step so when the plaster is setting on the hood you have to press on the shoulder so that it doesn't hurt these are another way to tackle varus tendency you can keep so when the fracture is setting at that time and even when patient is being managed at home give them a sofa pillow or abduction brace whatever means you can tackle their varus the emphasize on patient that this is the best way of resting so i give them usually back rest we have loan them from the hospital they get it back fracture based management after initial plaster treatment is also important and then the patients can be comfortable as early as 3 to 4 weeks this is the initial immobilization this patient uh, himself is a orthopedic surgeon and he agreed for conservative treatment and then he had a uh, lot of anxiety is it going to heal is it going to cause non union so he kept on sending me cm images he used to see that but then he said initially movements are there there is crepitus so first two to three weeks you have to carry them over and they are going to have this but then he had a wonderful time he had a slight varus that was managed with the valgus loop so while applying the plaster take care of it mold the plaster well and just i create a small valgus loop and you hang the um, valgus loop so that it doesn't go into error patients would take their x-rays go to the clinicians and then ask for operative treatment give them a ready format of a counseling chart so that they are happy varus can happen even after fixation so tackle that avoid slippage of cast this is very common in the humerus plaster cast teach application of brace after cast removal this is the upper limb kurta which was made by harjot and and this patients can become really comfortable on to the linear patients are really happy if they heal if they not we may use our surgical skill so case examples conservatively treated so this are the usual pictures patient would opt um, point out those differences in the fracture alignment teach them with the fracture charts and then callus seen as 8 weeks so examination at 3 to 6 weeks is very important you feel that early callus is forming no no abnormal mobility grossly and then that fracture is going to heal and this fracture heal very nicely at times a delayed healing may occur and you may have to brace them longer they but ultimately heal look at the wonderful responses and all these fractures in mid sharp 
distal third heel. So it is better to he explain the healing process when they are painless. So first week when they are painless, teach them how they are going to heal rather than dressings and tackling infection and deformities after surgery. Ultimately, patients are really happy and, and, and we would give them a very, very good result. This is the earliest callus you see on one of the two borders. And when you get this, you are sure that this fracture is going to heal. Avoid over distraction. When such x-rays are seen, initially patient might be unhappy. So we have to just tell them. So angulation, if it is happening, you can correct that in the definitive third plaster. So they may ideally need two plaster sessions. Shoulder stiffness occasionally does happen, but then that usually comes out. A non-operative stiffness usually goes away quickly. A distal humerus can also be treated with conservative. You find this large comminuted fragments slow down, and these are the easiest fracture unless there is intraarticular implication. Initial weekly and then monthly follow-up is needed to adjust minor issues. So you need to devote some time in OPD to tackle them. Humorous conservative management is more relevant because many times less adequate stability is given to lack of extensile exposure in humorous. And then we can give them a good result. Medication definitely can be managed. It is rewarding. Use of graphic counseling, again, I would emphasize helps a lot. So I keep this ready. Even the ward boys teach that, yes, this would heal. Don't worry about it. Avoid slippage of cast. This is important. Mold at the shoulder well. So this molding is important. Valgus molding is important. And then patient would have a fantastic result. Thank you, friends. Thank you so much. Thank you.